if you're in a position of management, if you are a, a, a business owner, if you're a supervisor, please, please allow this to be the same advice that was given to me years ago. You are only as good as your team. I remember when I started my business years ago, myself, like so many first time business owners, I was an extreme micromanager. It didn't matter the detail, big or small, I wanted to be involved in it. I wanted to cross everybody's T's, dot everybody's I's. If there was something leaving the office, I felt as though I needed to approve it first. You know, I was sending out texts and emails at three in the morning, then pissed off when people didn't hit me back. Like long story short, I was smothering the team and just doing too much. Now, on one hand, yes, Quarter over quarter, our revenues were increasing. Um, we were getting more and more clients. People started to look at us as experts in the area of grassroots and experiential marketing. So yes, on one hand, things seemed to be going well. But on the other hand, I created a culture where people were not allowed to be free thinkers. They were not allowed to bring their own uniqueness, their own voices and ideas to the table. And because of that, at some point, our business plateaued. And I remember being sat down by one of my managers and he had to have a real heart to heart with me. He said, listen, Sean, look, we all believe in you. We know that you have high standards and you pay attention to every little detail, but you have to allow the, the, the staff members to do what they were hired to do. You have to, to, to break these chains and just let people do them for, for a second. We will deliver, but allow us to do our jobs. Now, this wasn't necessarily the advice or the criticism I wanted to hear, but at the end of the day, it was necessary. So I changed my management style and I really focused on making people feel as though they were part of my overall vision. They were part of something greater than just coming to work to get a paycheck. They needed to buy into our company's mission statement. And when that happened, I thought we were doing well prior to, to me making this management switch, the company really started to blossom. I can assure you guys, no matter what great company, no matter what great institution that has ever been built, number one, there were some, there are some great team members, but number two, they are led by a really great leader. With that said, if you are a business owner, if you're a supervisor, if you're a manager, I really need you to pay close attention and really take a deep dive look into your management style. Are you bringing out the best in your team? You know, we've all heard of a guy named Tom Brady, New England Patriots, six rings. But as great as Tom Brady is, he might be the face of the organization. He's the guy kissing that trophy and going off to Disney World at the, at the end of the season. But behind him and those team members, there's a man named Bill Belichick. And Bill Belichick is responsible for helping these guys play for one common goal. Helping these guys put their egos in their pocket, go out onto that field, and they're playing for something greater. We've all heard of the GOAT, Michael Jordan, another six rings. As great as Michael Jordan is, there was a man sitting in the background named Phil Jackson. Phil was able to let Michael do Michael and manage him to bring out the best in him. But at the same time he was managing Michael, he was managing a guy named Scotty Pippen. Scotty, you don't have to be Michael. Do your thing. Don't worry about what he's doing. Play together. Kerr, play with Scotty and Michael. Dennis Rodman, Horace Grant. And everybody was able to play on that floor together and do their individual jobs to the best of their ability and not be focused and put their ego in their pocket and not be focused on grandstanding. And because of that, that team won. 
year over year over year. But I'll go one better for you. We've all heard of this family called the Kardashians. Do you know how difficult, like true, like really think about this. Do you know how difficult it must be to manage that many women? That's not an easy job. You have to give it up to Kris Jenner. Yes, we all know Kim. We know Kylie, Kendall, and Chloe, and everybody else, all the other Kardashians in that family. But while that family continues to make money together, while they continued to become pop, um, pop culture icons, what I love best about them is they remain a family. And that is a true testament to great leadership, great behind the scenes management of Kris Jenner. You have to give it up to her. So if you're in a position of management, if you are a, a, a business owner, if you're a supervisor, please, please allow this to be the same advice that was given to me years ago. You are only as good as your team. And if you can inspire your team and really help your team to buy in to your company's vision, your company will grow, your company will flourish, and it will scale. Peace and love, guys. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all in the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.